boss is the next one. <clears throat> Where now we're going to take some text and we're either going to inset it into the part or to extrude it. Or we can kind of just split the difference. So if I pick it, it's going to go back into it. Or I can cut it, cut it back. So if I had an emboss here, and right here, I told I didn't click wrap to face. What happens is when I, it'd be basically like extrude. It's going to go straight back into it. So looking at it from the side, it's just going to look straight. Just like if I used extrude. On the other hand, if I had done it, I told it to wrap the face, it's going to actually curve around the face as it puts it in. So then now we're looking at straight. This one kind of looks straight at it. And then I kind of look more at the side of the letters as it goes around the curve. So, if you knew exactly how long the, you wanted the thing to be, and you wanted it to, to be that long as it went around a curve or something, you could use emboss to have it go around like that. So, like here, if we had a, the slot, we wrap it around, and that piece there too. So, if we go over to emboss. Boss, and pick this profile, flip the direction that way. If I say OK, well, I got from the front, it just looks normal. If I tell the rock to the face, and I tell it that face, look at the top now. That's wrapped into the face. That way. That's not wrapped into the face. So, my right, inbox. And this depth, because it's a positive, it's down if I tilt the cut, 0.1. So you can see it's keep that point one distance all the way through. Whereas M, if I just didn't extrude, that'd be a straight line in the back. Right? So by doing a boss, it's keeping a consistent depth. But by going straight, the lines are all perpendicular here to the sketch. And I wrap it to the face. Now you can see the lines are all going to the center. So it's actually wrapping that around. So one of the other options I can do with emboss is so I can tell it to extrude or to cut. I can also tell it to, to go to where my sketch is. If I do that and say okay, it just cut that off that way. But if I flip that over, it's going to screw that up to it. Or if I do mid plane, watch what happens now. It cuts and extrudes. It does whatever it needs to to get that to be a level surface. It'll extrude whichever direction, it'll cut the other direction, whatever it needs to do to fill that in. So that would have been two steps before, now it's just one step. So that in itself would be a reason to use emboss. So go ahead and try those two.